Today we have a game request from Sue on my Discord DMs, and they say, Hey Eclipse, I found an underrated Roblox JoJo game. It's a sandbox fighting game with a pretty cool combat mechanic in my opinion, and I think it fits your content, and I feel it's the type of game that you would like. If you want to check it out, here's the link. Uh, and what the f*** is that? Listen, I'm not an artsy guy. But really? Okay, well, that's fine. Um, I guess we could just hop onto the game page. It says it has around 100 people playing, and... Okay, seriously? What the f***? So first impressions before I've even played the game. The first picture that they have is this MS Paint thing. I, like, I, I don't know. Second one? A, a real, actual, like, halfway decent photo. Okay, so why didn't you guys use that one? Another halfway decent photo, this time with a player using Whitesnake and the logo of the game. Uh, and then... And then this? What... What even is this? Like, seriously, no, legit, what is this? Because it's not in the game. At least I couldn't find it. It's just three pillars in a black void. Three black pillars in a black void. That's like, okay, hear me out. Imagine that this was sent to you with no context. And then the follow-up was, this is a game. What do you think the game is about? In four million years, would you ever guess Roblox JoJo? Cause I'm leaning towards probably not. And then like, what? Huh? What even? It's, it's two uncropped PNGs of Roblox characters on an MS Paint background with two uncropped stands behind them. And the world is T-posing. Wah. Just... My brain. My brain, it hurts. And then finally... What? Like... What even? I, I don't... I don't have the vocabulary to describe how confused I am. Zam? She's Project Heritage. And it's it's the Hog Rider from Clash of Clans. What What the f is going on here? I I don't I don't know. I really like I feel like I'm living in a fever dream. Right. So, um the description of the game says that it's a fighting game about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. The combat has a high skill ceiling, uh, and if you don't like fighting games, the game's not for you. So, already off the bat, the game's not for me, because I've already said 400 times that I don't like fighting games, but, you know, that's fine. Uh, because we'll play it anyway, and I'm sure it'll be great. So we log in, and then you need to accept a user agreement. I don't remember the last time that I've logged in and had to accept a user agreement on a Roblox game, but here we are. And it's not like anything on here is particularly surprising or like you would need to have a user agreement for and couldn't just justify by banning the people because anyone would understand that. Like targeted harassment and hate speech. Yeah, of course you'd get banned for that. Bug abusing? I God, I hope you'd get banned for that. I, I, I don't know, I don't quite get it. But with that, we enter the game uh, and, and that's, that's it. Video's over. Have a good one, guys. Nah, but seriously, uh, like, Sue, I'm sorry, man. Why would you recommend this to me? Genuinely. I hope you see the video. I hope you can comment below. And I hope you can, like, understand why would you send this to me? Um, and what do you think I have to say about it? Seriously, uh, like, this is the game. The game is you spawn in and you kill each other, and that's it. There's no substance. There isn't levels, there isn't skill trees, there isn't, like, even unlocking stands. Even really shit games like ABD have objectives and stuff to do. This doesn't have any of that. It's literally you spawn in and that's it. And you know what, that's fine. I'm sure that the developers have bigger plans for the game than just this. After all, it specifically says that the game is not even close to finished, but even still, well, again, what? 
why would you recommend this to me? Did you, were you just hoping that I would trash on it? Was that the goal? Because I know some people do send me games with the specific request of trashing on it, but you seem to think that this was an underrated game, which for the record, it is not. This is not an underrated game. This is the most rated game of all time. It has about 100 players, and that makes perfect sense. I don't know why it would have any more than that, because, well, there's nothing here. A lot of people have trashed on me in the past for saying there's nothing here, and then not really explaining myself. So I'll explain to you what's in this game. As it stands, what you can do in this game is spawn in, click the little arrow icon at the top, click one of the stands, and it'll give it to you. Once you have it, you can kill people. And um, that's, that's it. I would say that you're able to go into 1v1s as well, but you're not actually able to do that at all because nobody is playing it. I, I sat here and uh, nobody showed up. I can't really say that I'm hugely surprised based on the player count, uh, but yeah, no, you can log in, you can get a stand, and you can punch people in the face and then quit after 15 minutes because you got bored. But since we're here anyway, I guess I can talk about the combat, because that's literally all that we've got. Is the combat good? Is it bad? Well, I mean, I would say it's very alright. Your M1s are true combos. They combo into each other. There's three of them when you have your stand on with the third ragdolling, and when you have your stand off, it's some weird amalgamation of attacks. I don't quite understand how it works. But as far as I can tell, you can do a bunch of attacks, and the more attacks in succession you do, the less stun they have. Could be wrong, but that's what it seems like to me. You can combo moves out of your second M1, but the timing is a little bit tricky, and actually landing the M1s can also be a bit tricky. But other than that, and the fact that you can't sprint during combat, um, there's not really anything that's different or special here that isn't any different than anything else you've played. And that's not a knock against the game or anything. I mean, the system works, but like, it's, it's like, again, it, it was specifically stated to me that this is an underrated game, but it just does the same things that every other game does. I guess your heavy punch, you can charge. That's kind of cool, but I don't know. The one thing I can't say with total certainty though is that the cutscene moves in this game are bad ass. And it's pretty clear that a lot of effort went into these, uh, and maybe some of that effort should have went elsewhere, but hey, they look cool as hell. I also ran into this kind of odd issue, which I assume stems from dashes and stuff not being tracked properly, or just how they're tracked, but it seemed like a lot of the time people would kind of teleport around, and that's usually just a general Roblox issue that we see all the time, but it seems especially prevalent here, maybe because of ping, don't know, don't know what causes it, all I know is it's really odd when you're hitting someone and they're constantly teleporting around. But again, I, I just, I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be talking about here, I don't know what Sue thought that I would find, like did I miss something? Genuinely. I, I want to know, did I did I miss something, or or was this a bait? I am a bit at a loss. And as I was thinking to myself, what am I missing, and like, what do I do now? How do I make this into a video? Someone knocked me off of the cliff, but I didn't die. And now I'm trapped in an eternal echoing void. Right. Well, uh... Suppose that's that then, huh?